Hello, I'm here at Evergreen Tractor today to show you how to look at some of the data that is available from the monitor panel in this CAT E-Series excavator. The left side button at the bottom of the screen is for the main menu. The arrows at the bottom of the panel are for navigation. They move a blue screen which indicates a menu selection. The service menu is at the bottom of the screen. The button on the right side of the panel is the OK or Confirmation button. When you click OK to the service menu, it takes you to a password screen. Use the navigation buttons for the code 9992. Click on the Enter button for access to the service menu. The next menu that comes up shows a variety of subjects. We're going to go into the Diagnostic section first. As you can see, the fault code modes are in the same scheme as earlier C and D model excavators. You have active errors, logged errors, active events, and logged events. Moving the blue highlight and clicking OK will reveal any codes that are present in each display. Clicking the OK will give you a description of the fault code. You can see here where the active code is also displayed in the logged fault screen. The bent arrow button is a return to the previous menu command and you can work your way into something else. We can see that there are no codes in the event areas. Let's go back to the fault code. When we highlight the fault code, another icon on the screen lights up. The garbage can represents clearing the code out of memory. When we press it, the computer will give us a message on whether or not the fault cleared. In this case, it is still active and the code will not go away. Let's go back now and explore some more information that is available. Each section of the display takes us into submenus that provide more information. In this case, we went into the general area and clicked the status menu to see what it reveals. This menu shows us the current state of various components in the machine system. It can show you things like speed, voltage, pressures, temperatures, flows, and in some case the amount of torque being applied. If we go back and select the next option of pump, we can see all kinds of data points. Going back to the service menu again and exploring some more, there are plenty of areas that are used for setting up the machine operations. It's best to stay out of those menus unless you have a service manual and have some experience using them. Back to the main menu now, we'll have a look at some of the information that is available to operators. You'll notice that as you change where the square is lit up, the name of that particular square shows up at the top of the screen. going to note the screen for current totals. It gives the hours on various components. Two things to note are total operating hours, which is the total amount of operating hours since the machine was new, and total idling hours. This is the amount of hours where the engine was running but the machine was not being used. Of note here is the engine total operation is over 7,500 hours, while the total idling time is over 3,400 hours. As you can see, there is a tremendous amount of information available inside this machine. 
Getting familiar with the operation of the monitor panel will enable you to manage your machine's operation for better efficiency, easier troubleshooting, and less downtime completing repairs. Thank you for watching.